Hello and welcome to this Android development tutorial. This is part one on how to make a file manager application. So we open Android Studio, then we click on a start a new Android Studio project. We select empty activity and click on next. Now as the name, we will change it to file manager. We will make sure the Java is set as language and the minimum APA level is at least 14. We will click on finish and we will wait for the project to be loaded. So this file manager will enable us to search through directories and files and different file types. We will be adding features and improving the UI and so on. So while the the project load, we can say that this project will be very, very interesting because we will learn how to use list views, which are kind of a scrolling views in which we will display our, our files and folders and all that kind of stuff. And we will use also Java logic and mainly everything will be, be, do, will be done in Java or in XML. Okay, so the first thing we'll, we will do is open a REST folder. Under the layout folder, we will find the activity main.xml file. We will right click on it and we will click on delete. Okay, we will uncheck this if you have them checked and then we will click on OK. Okay, so right now we will go and right click on layout a new and layout resource file and we will create a new file that we will call layout or layout one for example okay and the root element of this layout will be linear layout and we will click on OK so right now you can we can hide this and we will switch the design view to text view and we can open the preview right here in order for us to know what's going on in the UI of our application. So right here we can start designing this um, UI we have. So if we have a file manager, we would like to have a place in which we can show the files and folders. And the most, uh, the easiest way to do it is with a list view. So we will do that a little bit later but now we will just create kind of the architecture of this um, file manager. For example, if we create a text view right here, so we type text view with much power and height, it can be maybe 50 dp. And we want to do with this something very simple. For example, we set text to file manager. So this will basically just display the title of our application. Now we will increase the text size by specifying the text size attribute to 25 SP. And we will center the text view, the text in the text view by specifying the gravity to center. Okay. We can change the background of the text view if we want. For example, if we want to create a black background. So we first we will create a color uh, for this. For that we go to the left side, we open the values folder and under that we will find the color of that XML file. We open this file, as you can see there is already some colors created by default. But we will add a new color, we will type new element color and we will create the black color. So we type black, we close the element and inside the element we type uh, number sign or hashtag, whatever you want to call it, and six zeros. And we will follow the hashtag with six zeros. Now we have defined the black color. Now if we go back to our layout1.file, we can set the background of this text view to black. And the background is black. Now we want to define a kind of white color, not that white but we will call it light color. 
So we will create a new color and name of the color will be light. Just uh, or light color. Maybe we can specify it as light color. Okay. And the value of this color will be six Bs. You can go and do it with uppercase because that's kind of more readable if you like, but, but it doesn't really matter. So six Bs. And now we will set the text color attribute to light color. And we can see that the, our file manager has a, a light color. If we want to make these uh, white uh, kind of text light color a little bit more brighter or more whiter, we can change the D to an E, for example. So we will uh, go and type six E's instead of six D's. And I think that's that's good for now. Okay, so we have the title of our file manager. Next, we will create a view that will simulate how the our file manager will look like. So instead of creating a list view, so we can go and say list view, for example, here. List view, width will be match parent, the height will be zero dp, and the weight will be one, okay? And as you can see on the right side, we have item one, sub item one, item two, sub item two, and so on. So this is our, the list view we have created right here. Here we will display the file names and so on. Okay, so we have our list view ready, and we have to create something else, maybe a bottom bar that will enable us to have some buttons and actions. So for that, we will create a linear layout right here, and the width will be much parent. The height will be fifty dp. We can change these later if we want. So and. The orientation of the layout will be, of course, horizontal because we want to create kind of horizontal uh, bar on the bottom. So as you can see here, we have our horizontal bar, a list view, and our top text view that says this is our file manager. Now, in the future, we can add more features and even add buttons in the top where file manager title uh, exists. But here, for example, we will create some buttons. So we will open an element, it will type button. The width will be zero dp. The height will be uh, much parent and the weight will be one. Okay. The weight will be one. And we can uh, change or copy this. So let me adjust this a little bit in order for you to see what I'm doing, okay. So now we have this button right here and we can enable it at an ID. For example, I will call it B1. That for me, it means button one, okay? And we can add more buttons. For example, we will copy these and below it, we will paste it maybe four times more. So we can have five buttons on our bottom bar and we will change, of course, the ID of every one of them. So B1, the next will be B2 the next will be B3, the next B4, and the next B5. We can press Ctrl Alt L to order and reformat the code to make it look nicer. Okay, and here we have five buttons at the, at the bottom of the screen. We have our release view and we have our title. Okay, so right now we have all of these buttons. What we will do now, we will open our mainactivity.java file and we will fix this error that appears here, of course, because we changed the name of our layout file. So we will instead type, okay, r.layout.layout1, and that will fix the error we had. Okay, so right now we will uh, create the buttons. We, we kind of get access to the bottom, to the buttons we created. We can also do it with the um, list view, but we will, do it first with buttons, okay? So we will type final button and we will, of course, import the button library. Okay, let me see, button, okay. And we will call it v1 is find view by id, r.id.v1. 
Okay, we will do the same for the other five buttons. So we can copy these and paste um, five times. Okay, so we have five buttons and here B1, this is B2, this is B3, B4 and B5. Okay, and on the IDs we have also have to change the IDs to B2, respectively B3, uh, B4 and B5. Okay, now we will uh, set a, a click listener maybe to B1 just to test everything is working fine. So we will say B1 that set on click listener new. We will tap type new on click listener. And inside the click listener, we will say, um, we'll say b1 dot set text, and pressed for example. Okay, just to to make sure everything works fine. Okay, now I will run the app on my emulator. If you want, you can do it on your emulator or on your real device if you want. So right now I'm compiling, as you can see, Gradle build running and will be sent to the emulator if it doesn't find errors in the code. So at compi compilation time. Okay, so right now we are, we will switch to the emulator to see if everything works as expected. So right here you can see my emulator that it actually opened in the settings uh, folder and settings app of the Android. I am running Android Pi on this emulator. And now as you can see, we have our file manager. Okay, how in the bottom we have five buttons. If we click on any but the first, nothing happens. But if we click on the first, uh, the first now says pressed. Okay, now we can see right here that we have two uh, titles. The one that we created is the is the one that is below the, the other because it's the center and we created it. And the other kind of is kind of the default. We don't want um, that title because we don't cannot really add a lot of uh, customizations to it. So we want to keep only the one we created. To hide the one that comes with by default, we go to the values folder and open the styles.xml file. Here we can modify the style or the theme of our application. To do that, we will create an item and we will set it to window no title and we will set the value of that item to true. So if we run the app again, we can see that the title will be gone. So it's loading right now. So wait a second and now we have only the title we wanted. Now maybe we want the the app to be full screen. To do that, and so we don't want the top uh, bar which contains the the time and the these icons. We want to hide that. To do that, we will create another item right here that will say full screen. Let me see. Window full screen. Okay, and we will set that to true. Okay, we will run the app and see if it worked. Okay, we're running the app and as you can see, the top bar is not shown anymore. Okay, if, we, if it didn't work for you, don't worry, we will, we will do something that we'll fix on every, on every phone, but um, there is very, very probable that it worked. So now we have our file manager title, we have our list view right here, and we have our five buttons on the bottom of our layout. Okay, so now, right now we will go to our layout again, and we will check something else right here. So I told you that we didn't um, access the list view from Java because the reason of that is that the list view doesn't have an ID, so we will create an ID for the list view and we will call it uh, just list view. List view. I will call it list view. I mean, yeah, it can be uppercase here. And here we can close this, okay, so it looks better. Okay, so we go now to mainactivity.java and after this click listener, 
right here we will create our list view. We'll access the list view by saying final list view and we will we will name it uh, list view and we will say find view by id r id dot list view so now we have the list view right here and we have accessed the rest of the buttons right here okay so later we can maybe rename these buttons maybe v1 can become go back to the previous folder b2 can be maybe something like rename the folder or something and so on and so forth so i hope you enjoy it this is for this video in the next tutorial we will do lots of very fun fun stuff and i see you in the next one bye